Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds or have extremely bad luck for the rest of your life. I wouldn't risk it. Hit up my boy Gamer the Plug on Twitter or Instagram to buy stacked NBA 2K20 accounts. Links are in the description. Tell him that Badge Plug sent you for a discount. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Badge Plug, and today I've got a very special video. One of the three Ball Brothers, LaMelo Ball. Y'all, this man is expected to be a top pick in the 2020 NBA draft. In fact, he's expected to be a top five pick in the NBA draft, maybe even two or three. Now, since he's been overseas, I haven't watched a lot of LaMelo Ball, and I had no clue that this man has grown to the height of six foot eight. Yes, six foot eight. Most of the sites are saying he's six foot eight. Some say six foot seven, but it doesn't matter. He's around that height. So today I decided to get on a point forward, small forward build. Now, obviously he's a point guard, but you can't make a point guard six foot eight. Now this build is six foot eight, 188 pounds with the playmaking takeover. It's got a very good progression, 77 driving dunks, 77 three pointer, 83 ball handling. So you can speed boost after one bucket, or if you get it to 99.9, it should be able to speed boost right away with a 70-30 split on speed and it has very good defense in the 70s and the 84 defensive rebound plus being 70s in defense you also get eight defensive badges so if you're running this at the one six foot eight with eight defensive badges you're basically locked down then you have hall of fame playmaking badges which has 21 of those 15 shooting badges, which I told you guys you only need 9 to 12, but 15 is going to do us even better. And then six finishing badges to go on top of that, guys. This build is awesome. Today, we're going to be going to the park to play 2v2s with La Melo Ball. Make sure you guys drop a like if you haven't yet. Comment down below what NBA player you want to see next, college player, high school player, or celebrity. Does not matter. I told you guys I'm going to be trying to do every single one for you. Make sure to leave those comments down below, and let's get straight into the gameplay, y'all. All right, guys, into the gameplay. I'm playing with a Legend Glass Cleaner, which is basically a glass cleaning lockdown, a build that can spread the floor and play good defense. Now, I'm not saying that I hate LeVar Ball, but I'm glad that the kids are distancing themselves from their dad because, yes, he did give them a lot of marketability. He gave them a lot of attention but I believe it was starting to get a little too much and I'm glad that they finally spread apart from their dad I don't think I don't even think Lonzo is a part of big baller brand anymore but they're doing great things Lonzo is having an outstanding season his best season so far LaMelo Ball is about to be a top pick in the NBA draft I'm not sure what LiAngelo is doing I think I heard the other day that LiAngelo got a uh, G League offer I'm not sure if he took it or not but he might be in the NBA too. I don't know how that exactly is going to go, but you see me right here. Oh, off the misdirection. Bang. Come on, man. You see the athleticism on this build. LaMelo is a very athletic player. Now, I don't think he can do that. Maybe he can, but he's definitely a very athletic player. He's very jelly-like. He's very fancy. He's very cocky. He's very confident in his game. And I believe this build pretty much represents what he can do because he is amazing at dribbling. He's amazing at being a teammate, passing the ball, you know, facilitating the rock right there. I pull up, miss it. My teammate gets the board, pull up again, and that's green. You already know your boy Badge Plug is not missing two times in a row, okay? Just not going to happen. Now, I don't dislike LeVar Ball, like I said, but I'm glad that everyone is doing their own thing. I'm glad that everyone is grinding. And I think it would be really cool to see three brothers in the league like the Antetokounmpo's, man. We got three of them in the league right now. That'd be so cool to have three Ball brothers, too. All the people who played on the same high school team, that would be really cool. A lot of people remember the Chino Hills team, bro. That it's like a historic high school team. They got so much attention, so much clout for being high school basketball players because they were just so good at what they were doing. You know, they were great at marketing everything and they just turned out the way they are now. So LaMelo has been overseas and he has been absolutely balling. Now, what I heard was LaMelo going overseas. Check it out right there. My teammate misses, passes out to me. That's great. But what I heard was LaMelo is going overseas. His NBA career is done, right? But then one year later, He's a top pick in the NBA draft. So I just want to talk about something real quick. There's so much with the media and basketball Twitter. Basketball Twitter is just something different, guys, okay? I don't like to engage myself in basketball Twitter. If you guys follow me on Twitter, which by the way, it's just at Badgeplug, okay? I have no other Twitter. It's just at Badgeplug, all right? I don't really get into the basketball conversations a lot because so many people just say the craziest things and that's where the lamello ball situation came in they're like oh he's going overseas done he'll never touch the nba 
He'll never come back. There's nothing. There's nothing that he can do. And honestly, LeVar Ball, that was a great call. That was an amazing call putting him overseas because I feel like he got a lot of growth from that. And maybe he just needed to not be in the state so much because, I don't know, maybe he had some type of bad influence or something. But he did great overseas. He grew so much as a player. And he's playing like professional hoopers over there, okay? I know that college basketball is like professional hoopers, but they're not like being paid to play you know what i'm saying those are some great players over there not saying that you know obviously the college players i'm sure they could hoop with them too but you know a lot of them can not all of them but he's done great and he's grown and he's becoming into an amazing player now what i want to talk about is i want to talk about how lamello is going to fit on a team because he's six foot eight now we've got ben simmons you know we've seen magic johnson very tall guards running the point but if he does go to a team, like he's suspected to go to a team that already has a nice guard, is he going to run the two? Is he going to even run the three? Because he can run small forward at six foot eight. But either way, what I really want to discuss is if he does run the two or the three and he's on a team that has a great guard already, then I'm 99% sure that team is going to excel with LaMelo Ball on the team because they've already got a floor general that knows exactly how to space the floor and facilitate to the team. And then they've got someone at the two or the three that knows exactly how to run the point guard position. And there's very few teams in the NBA right now that have that sort of situation, okay? The Rockets, they've got James Harden, who is a great playmaker he knows how to make plays get assists and then they've got russell westbrook also who is obviously a playmaker slash shooting guard they're both kind of playmakers slash shooting guards you know what i'm saying they're both ones and twos they can run both positions if they really wanted a lot of people say that russell should have been a shooting guard but you know what i'm saying okay then you've got the lakers who have got rondo he's a championship winner you know he's got the dna he knows exactly how to space the floor he's a hall of fame dimer all right and then they've got LeBron James, who can also run the point. And look at those teams' records, okay? Look at those teams' records that have that type of ability to run two, basically, floor generals at the same time. There is already teams like that in the NBA, and they are excelling very good. They've all got good records. There's, like, no team that has those two kinds of players that can both move the ball like a very, very good point guard, an elite point guard, at the same time, that's doing bad. There's not. There's not any team that's doing bad that has that availability to do that. So in this game, now it's 10 to 11. We finally got the ball back. I've got no Gatorade, no Gym Rat. So I'm having to make it work on a point forward, but it's all good. This is actually good gameplay because you guys are seeing that even if you don't have Gatorade, Gym Rat, you can still win. You can still make it work. You don't have to be on a legend. I know I play on a lot of legends, but that's just because, you know, I can play on them. So obviously I'm going to play on the legends because you guys like seeing those too. But check it out. They're leaving my man wide open, right? So I'm like, okay, all right. I'm going to try and cook up and then I'll pass it to you if I can't score. Boom. He's got that green bean machine and he's pulling up. So I didn't know if he was trying to bait or not right there, but he's obviously not, you know, trying to bait enough because my boy's got that wet jump shot. He's already showed them he can shoot and they're still disrespecting. So, oh my gosh, look at that dunk right there, boys. I love the dunks in this game. The dunks are so nice when you can actually get them. And a lot of people, they see builds that don't have a lot of finishing badges but they have a good contact dunk and they write the build off. Oh, it doesn't have a good contact dunk. It doesn't have the, you know, 85, 86. So it's not gonna be able to dunk good. No, as long as you've got like above a 70 driving dunk, you can still get lots of very nice dunks. You're just not gonna be contact dunking a lot of people. Now I've got contact dunks. I don't know what it is, but even without slashing takeover, with slashing takeover, I've got plenty of contact dunks without having the 85 right away, but the slashing takeover puts it over the 85 um there's lots of builds in this game that gets contact dunks with like an 80 81 contact dunk because it goes up you know when you score just like your other stats go up when you uh when you score so if you have like shot creating takeover and stuff like that it actually boosts your driving dunk and you should be able to get contact dunks in the game not a lot but you're still going to get them okay now if you guys have not yet make sure to comment down below what is the next nba player you want to see celebrity high school player Oh, it does not matter. Comment it down below. I'm trying to do every single one for you guys, all right? Please, I'm trying to do every one. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do every single one because there's already hundreds and hundreds of comments that I'm daily uploading. I'm trying my artist, but, you know, there's lots of them out there. But anyway, guys, it's your boy, Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're new, drop a like. If you haven't yet, I would never ask for likes if it wasn't for the YouTube algorithm, man. I wouldn't even care. And I'm out.
Peace.